The Studio 5 contributors each have their area of expertise, but we are pushing them to the edge of what they might otherwise choose to do, and it's revealing to see their experiences. Today's Studio 5 parenting contributor, Heather Johnson, steps out of her comfort zone and takes a challenge to do something she never thought she would ever do. Okay, so Saturday morning, it's pretty early, about 6, 6.30 or so, and we are getting in a hot air balloon. I kind of have that uncomfortable, like, knot in my throat a little bit. <laughs> if something goes wrong, in my mind, there's no other options but dying. What? No. You get I'm a seatbelt and I don't get a seatbelt? Yep. That's not cool. Here's So what I know about a, how a hot air balloon works is very, very little. All right, This question? is not getting better. <laughs> this is gonna be fine. I know we need some hot air to rise. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I think the most nervous part was actually climbing in and then that first lift off. What's the purpose of making it spin? It makes this look really cool down below but it doesn't take very long, and then you start to realize you're much safer than, than you think you are, or than I imagined I would be. I cannot believe I am looking over the edge of this balloon right now. We could see the lake, we could see Y Mountain. Look at all those balloons. I know, they're so nice. Uh, the first thing that Greg had us do was to pull pine needles off of a pine tree. Except we didn't. Do you control it going right or left? No, nope. the wind. You could see the sun come up, which was pretty beautiful as it comes up over the top of the mountain. Okay, so we're gonna buzz the tower. We're actually gonna touch down, and then we're gonna take off again. It's cool to hear. I mean, everybody's cheering. Everybody's on board to watch. You know, when we're on the ground watching balloons, I had no idea that a pilot in the air cared that I was on the ground watching them. And so it was really neat to see that everyone down here gets a show. Our, <laughs> our pilot grade was awesome. If I did this again, or if I entertained bringing my family, then I for sure would need Greg to help me. <laughs> no more. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. Yeah, I would do it again. I would probably want the same crew because you come to trust them, so I think I would do it again. Good work, you guys. Thanks for letting me hang out. Yeah, of course. Oh, the day ends on a sweet note. You did it! Way did to it. go! Way yep. to go! So, now you've had some chance to reflect, think back. We've just reviewed it together. Thanks for sharing your experience with us. It was... It was awesome. awesome. It was awesome. And I think what made it really awesome was, ironically enough, being educated in it. So, I mean, I knew very little. I just knew that that seemed so unsafe to me, right? I teased. I mean, <laughs> our, our pilot, Greg, he gets in and he immediately puts on a seatbelt. And I look at him and I'm like, Look, if I had that, I wouldn't be so scared of this whole process. Though. Yeah. Like, at least I'd be dangling instead of dying, <laughs> right? And, you know, the sides of that basket aren't that tall. And I think, too, I always imagined doing something like that and my kids being with me. And so in my mind, yeah. I was, like, protecting small people who were going to lean over edges. Right. And so to have the experience by myself and become so educated in the community, this is really a community. And there is so much work and so much knowledge that goes into that balloon going up in the air. Once I had the education, it was not nearly as scary. Isn't that a life wasn't lesson, though? Scary. Once we know more than, you know, we know in the moment, it feels less scary, less fearful. It what does. did your kids think? Uh, they were really excited that I'd go try it. They, no one, no one doesn't know that I don't love hot air balloons. So all of our kids know that. <laughs> okay. Our son, who's, you know, out of the country for two years, he was shocked. He was like, did you really actually do this? So I got to send him a video. And I think, too, again, the lesson that they learned was, one, that I can do those scary things, yeah, too, which Mom's was really brave. great. That she's brave. But to come home and be able to say, you know, you guys, how we work really hard to gain knowledge so that we can work through our emotions. Yeah. For them to see that that works for me too sure. was a really, really cool thing to be able to you share. You were living with them. the lessons you're teaching mm -hmm. them all the time. Um, yeah. Reaching the, the pine needles, you said that was yes. terrifying. Well, it was the first thing. He brings this up and immediately he's like, I'm dragging the basket through the trees. I want you to come up with pine you're needles. In and the I'm tree like, tops. Can you, wh what if we get caught? What if we tip over? <laughs> what if, can I get my feet wet a little bit? And I think he knew too, like he was gonna season me really, yeah. really fast. Yeah. He had a great sense of humor and he wasn't holding anything back. 
So that, and again, doing it is like, oh my gosh, I just did that, so. I say this as your friend who loves and adores you. It's kind of nice to see you nervous. <laughs> Heather is the coolest cucumber on the block. Like you are always just in such command and control. So thanks for yeah. letting us in on that vulnerable side. Yeah. And your balloon had a name, I understand. It did, Flying Oasis. 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 Oh, like A W A Y. Away. Flying okay. Oasis. Okay, okay. And yep. Greg seemed like a lot of fun. He was. He was great. And you know, again, the community is unbelievable. They they know each other. They travel together. All those people you saw helping, they actually are just volunteers who show up in whatever city is launching balloons. Oh, cool. So all those people on the ground, again, they just come together. And once you realize what's really going on, and again, the knowledge and experience. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really comfortable well, they place to be. come together to give other people that mm -hmm. experience mm -hmm. and to share that knowledge. That's cool. We do want to give a shout out to Springville City. They hosted Heather during their Art City Days Balloon Festival. So much fun. They put on a beautiful event. And in a small town, you get that up close and personal view of those balloons. Thanks yeah. for sharing, Heather. Super fun. We're not letting Miss Balloon fly away <laughs> uh, too quickly. We've got more to talk about when we come back. Topic mm -hmm. on the table is? Yeah, we're going to talk about our tweens, our 10 to 12-year-olds. Yeah. Forgotten age group. The forgotten age group. We're going to talk about them today. How to parent them better, how to love them better. More with our parenting contributor, Heather Johnson, right after this.